Hey guys, Gabs here, Opinoy Travel Freak, and welcome to this travel vlog. Ari ako karon sa Cebu. I'm here in Cebu. The last time that I was here in Cebu was in 2019, pa, so that's before the pandemic. Pretty sure right now you're curious to know kung open na ba yung Cebu to tourists. Tourists ba from the NCR Plus areas can visit Cebu province already? Keep on watching this video because I'll be sharing with you some tips, travel requirements, travel guides, and everything that you need to know before traveling here in Cebu in the new normal. So your question right now is Cebu open na ba to leisure tourists? The straight answer is yes guys. Cebu is open na to leisure tourists or non-essential trips and they've been uh, accepting na tourists even the NCR plus areas including me. So ano yung mga travel requirements? The answer would depend kung saan yung destination nyo dito sa Cebu. If your uh, destination is within Cebu province, that means outside Cebu City, Mandawi City, and Lapu-Lapu City, the travel requirements are first is medical certificate issued by a registered physician and valid for 7 days. Second is a confirmed hotel or resort booking within any establishment here in Cebu province. Third is round trip ticket and fourth is a valid ID. However, if your destination is Cebu City, Lapu-Lapu City, or Mandawi City, uh, their LGUs require a PCR test or swab test. So these are the travel requirements as of June 2021 right now. Tip ko lang, always, always make sure to check the LGUs or check their travel requirements because right now, due to the uncertain situations, pabago-bago lagi yung requirements. You can check it with your airline as well kasi sila, um, updated din sila sa mga travel requirements and destination mo because in the first place, hindi ka makakasakay ng uh, aeroplano pag hindi mo na comply yung requirements ng LGU. My destination here in Cebu for this trip is actually Tabuelan. So it's uh, outside the city and Bantayan Island. Right now, I'm vlogging here sa Dorhan White Beach Resort. So this is my first time to go here or to stay here. Hindi ko alam na may ganitong lugar pala dito, may ganitong resort sa northern part ng Cebu. Uh, Tabuelan is uh, not under my radar. A favorite ko talaga na laging pinupundahan is Bantayan Island, Malapasco Island. But I didn't know na sa Tabuelan, they have this like uh, very nice beach here and nagulat nga ako. So, after more than three hours sa biyahe from Cebu City, nakarating na rin ako dito sa Dorhan White Beach Resort and unfortunately, umuulan siya kanina. So, may pa-welcome drinks sila na binigay. Thank you, Dorhan. Uh, may binigay din sila na complimentary fruit. So, watermelon is my favorite after me. Building na to, dalawang floor siya. Yung sa baba, room with sea view, which is good for two persons. And dito sa taas, good for three persons. So, yung binigay sa akin is good for three persons. I'll give you a quick tour inside sa room ko. Sa labas, meron siyang table. Uh, pwede kang mag-hangout, pwede kang kumain with the view of the sea. So, meron dalawang bed. Isang uh, double, tsaka isang uh, single. So, pang tatlong tao siya. Then, there's a big mirror here. Uh, merong table for your stuff and then cabinets natin to uh, electric kettle tissue roll some uh, toiletries three sets of towel there's an aircon and then nandito yung uh, restroom there's the sink may mirror dito the toilet and then meron silang uh, shower Hey guys, so I'm vlogging here sa Durhan White Beach Resort. This is my uh, first destination here in uh, my Cebu Adventure. I'll be giving you a quick tour inside the resort para makita nyo kung ano yung mga facility nila dito and amenities in case you plan to go here. And so naka-face mask ako because safety first. So we have to follow minimum or basic uh, health protocols dito sa resort. This is the entrance uh, pagdating mo dito. So yung resort is actually accessible siya along the highway lang. And then ito yung madadatan mo. Ito yung gate nila. So they have free parking here. Kung may sasakyan kayo dito, especially for tourists na galing sa Cebu City or within the province, you can uh, bring your car with you and you can uh, avail of the free parking here sa resort. Safety first, stop and sanitize. Let's follow our safety protocols. Wear your face mask all the time. Hashtag Dorhan Cares. So, bago kayo pumasok, you need to sanitize or wash your hands. So, may mga reminders din sila dito. Then, may faucet sila dito. After washing your hands, 
si Mimit ko ni mabait na Kuya Guard. Hello Kuya, ano pangalan nyo? Uh, GR po. GR. So, pagdating ng guest, uh, pagtapos nila ng wash hands, ano yung gagawin nila? Uh, Mag-temperature tapos mag, ano, mag fill up ng health form. Ayan, so temperature check and uh, fill out ng health declaration form. Tapos pag uh, okay na, pwede na silang pumasok. Pwede nang pumasok. Pasok na tayo. Ang laki ng uh, parking space nila. So enough sa madaming guests, especially sa during weekends. So there's a welcome sign, welcome to Durhan White Beach Resort. So then on the right side, merong yung accommodation. These are the room with garden view. Yan. So two floors siya, another sign, drop off area. Dito sa labas, uh, they have this uh, uh, weather forecast. It's the reception area. Ano name yung ate? Floor, sir. Ayan, si Floor at si Joseph. Si Joseph. Ayan guys, so sila yung mag-welcome sa inyo pag nag-check-in kayo dito or nag-day tour. How much ulit yung bayad for day tour? 200 per head po. Pag 200. weekdays. Pag weekdays. Okay. Tapos? Pag weekends is 590 with lunch buffet and beach access na po. Ito natin parang meron silang spa dito. So ito yung prices nila. They have Swedish massage, ventosa, Thai, tsaka food. For activities, they have uh, rentals such as airbed. 200 per hour tsaka inflatable boat 300 per hour so kung wala kayong dala you can rent here tapos na dito na side meron silang uh, billiard table and then dito may mga may mga rooms there to easily navigate the property or the resort meron silang uh, map dito we are currently here standing here and dito yung gazebo yung chapel yan we are here beside the chapel right now this is the chapel Tapos meron din silang beach guideline din operating time. So as of the moment, yung uh, beach access is uh, between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. only. Then yan. Ayan. So ito na yung beach area. Then let's go here sa gazebo. So ito yung bar nila na open sa gabi until 12 midnight. Tapos here sa other side, meron din beach. Then meron silang shower. So this one, ito yung uh, building nila facing the sea. So nandito yung room ko sa second floor. So these are the rooms with sea view. Okay, so across the reception uh, area, nandito yung chapel kanina. Uh, it's called Santa Cruz. So meron sila ditong uh, restroom sa left side. Then this is the restaurant, and then ito, beach na. Mga kuya, anong oras bukas yung bar ni Juan? Um, from 6, sir. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. to... 2 and guys, so ito yung menu ng uh, Barney One. So they serve coffee, iced coffee, blended non-coffee, frap, hot tea, then mga juices, fruit shakes, and then for cocktails, so alcoholic drinks. The restaurant nila dito, they normally serve uh, a la carte. Pag weekends, that's the time they serve buffet breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, today is Monday. Nag-serve sila ng buffet breakfast. It's because madaming guests. So sila yung naka-check-in ng weekend. Okay, so ito yung tinatawag nila na barkada room. So it's a non-aircon room na good for 8 persons. So ito yung beach area nila guys. Apparently it's high tide. Sobrang ganda ng tubig. And maganda yung uh, weather today. Kaya super enjoy pag gusto nyo mag-swimming dito. Dito tayo sa bandang dulo guys. So meron sila dito ng photo op spots. Yeah, kung sumuyo yung background yung beach. And then uh, I think ito yung old restaurant nila. And then here is the arc sign ng Burhan. My stairs leading to the beach. And dito tayo sa far left end ng beach area nila. So dito may mga tables sa uh, beach. And then may uh, banig. So pwede kang mag-chill dito. 
So, paano pumunta dito sa Dorhan White Beach Resort or sa Tabuelan, Cebu? Uh, I came from NCR. So, I took a flight from Manila directly to Cebu. So, papunta dito, meron kang dalawang options. So, you can commute by bus. Our second is you can rent a private car na diretso na dito sa resort mismo. Uh, if you want to commute, going here sa Tabuelan or sa Dorhan, you need to uh, proceed to the North Bus Terminal. By the way, yung bagong uh, North Bus Terminal is nasa SM City, Cebu na nasa parking area nila. So, you can take uh, a taxi from the airport or grab or mga private car rentals uh, sa airport and then from the North Bus Terminal you will need to take a bus papunta dito sa Tabuelan. By the way, uh, papuntang Tabuelan uh, specifically dito sa Dorhan isang bus line lang yung dumadaan sa harap mismo. You can take series for example na bound for Tabuelan but uh, hanggang uh, poblasyon lang kayo and then from the poblasyon I think you will need to take a uh, tricycle or habal-habal para magpahati dito sa Dorhan White Beach Resort. So ang ginawa ko I took the direct bus which is the Inday Mimi. Nakintay ako ng uh, around 30 to 40 minutes sa terminal, the trip took about uh, 3 hours and 20 minutes. In my case kasi, in Daimimi, since uh, they are the only one dumadaan dito sa Durhan, um, hindi siya point-to-point -point bus. Eh, madami siyang stops along the way. Kaya natagalan yung biyahe. If you wanna travel on a budget, you can commute uh, via the bus. However, if you wanna more private na transportation and mas mabilis, you can take a, or rent a private car galing sa airport mismo. <music> Dinner time guys, I ordered unlimited chicken wings. Ito yung bagong uh, offer nila. Five different flavors. The gazebo is open until 12 midnight. So you can order uh, drinks here and food then. It's lunch time for me. Uh, late lunch actually kasi ano na, uh, mag 2 p.m. na. So I ordered grilled squid ha? with rice and uh, mango juice. So maliligo ko ngayon sa beach habang high tide pa kasi mahirap or pangit mamaya yung dagat pag low tide na. Kahapon nakita ko kasi low tide nung bandang uh, late afternoon. Wala na masyadong tubig dito sa malapit sa area. So kailangan mo pumunta na malayo. Nag-explore ako dito sa area. Parang may cliff sa dulo. So far pwede siyang puntahan. Kailangan mo nakakitin yung mga malalaking bato. Tapos sa may beach. I think nakita ko kanina to sa drone. Try ko magpalipad sa may dulo. Baka maganda yung view dito. Dito na part, yung doorhan. Ito na guys, ito yung nakita ko kaninang cliff. Ayan, so hanggang dito na lang siya. I'm not sure kung pwede yung cliff jumping dyan pag high tide. Pero mukhang mababaw. And matatalas yung mga bato. So ito yung view. Ito, ito yung doorhan. And dito ako nakatayo sa may dulo ng cliff. Yung nakikita kanina, yung nakikita ko sa doorhan. And open siya, pwede siyang puntahan. Sa kabilang side, merong beach cove. Ito sa likod ko. Magpo 4 p.m. na. Kahapon kasi walang sunset dahil uh, maulan. Ngayon, uh, clear yung sky. Ito yung uh, itsura ng beach nila sa gabi. It's uh, quarter to seven. So low tide na siya. So ito yung itsura ng resort sa gabi. Maliwanag yung beach area nila. Good morning Cebu. It's my last day here in uh, Dorhan White Beach Resort. So ikagabi, I had a massage. Natuwa talaga ako kasi it was re relaxing. And I'm gonna get ready pack my bags because I'm heading to Bantayan Island and I will be there for 5 days and 4 nights so it will be my first time na magstay doon ng ganun katagal. Breakfast is served. I ordered plated uh, meal na pork tocino, egg omelette, tsaka fried rice. Hot coffee. 
I'm gonna end my tabuela and uh, Durhan White Peach Resort vlog here. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, share this video until my next travel vlog. Oh, 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 oh,